here folks we're at my old stomping grounds lake chabot as you can see weather condition out here is not the ideal but i figure since i had so much luck with drop shot last time i'm gonna go where the popular kids go sorry fellas didn't mean to disturb you there good eyes though <laughs> I saw a square bell with wings. Square bell? Not square bill. I'm gonna target that grass right there. See if I can reach. Now that I got the right ammo. I'm not seeing any of the smaller fish here. There's a good chance I might have to switch places here. Ah, I think I may have got hung up on some more grass here. Hmm, more grass? Whew. Yeah. Just a little. Oh no. Common enemy. Check our line. Yep, we're good. Target dead center. Yeah, dead center's got me in trouble over there between those two bushes. on the square bill either. We'll save this guy though for later. Because then over there on that corner, some rocks. Square bill is going to be perfect for the rocks. Bartender, I'll have a square bill on the rocks. I went up sure. All right. So it looks like I got my response here in regards if they want a square bill. And the answer is how about no, Scott? They don't want it. They ain't gonna have it today. Maybe on another time. Funny thing is the same square bill that I used here, caught two of them already. And these waters, not here though, further out towards the uh, northeast of the lake. Which, might I remind you, takes at least about an hour to get over there. And these electric boats that they have, uh, I think it's like 30 pounds of thrust. Not really helpful. <laughs> All right. Square bill is a no-go, folks. Time to switch it up. We're going to get colorful with a jig and juice. Rolling down the street, smoking Bass Pro. Sipping on jig juice. Can't have a kink in my line, Greg. It's about right. Mother of pearl. You 
you know what? Let's add an incentive. There we go. Put a little bit of garlic scent on it. These little ducks over here have given me a hint. Don't know if I picked up more grass. Yeah, it looks like I may have. Oh darn. Probably some fishing line. It's definitely not a fish though. Pardon me. I'm a little bit gashy. A little bit nasty. There you go. Is there anyone there? They won't see him. Alright, I think I'm ready to switch it up. Want any more grass? My high school years are over. Found another good spot and right at a point so I was told here it's a good spot for uh, a lot of rocks so I've been dying to try this out now that I see it a lot of grass over here too but good old Ned rig it's a good old B lat says man I catch these everywhere so I guess I might as well explain why I'm using the Ned rig today you know of all the times I've tried it, I've had no success. I've saw today and in the past week, other people on YouTube were having great success on it with the Nedry. Um, so I think it was Greg Blatchard, yeah. He had some success out in Berryessa with this. So I figured because of the conditions, why not give it a shot? Produce over there, might produce here. Yeah, which I don't think is a fish. Yeah, this is what I was concerned about, the net rig. It'll produce all right. Produce a good amount of snags. It's about the only thing I get lucky with on a net rig. Let's see if I can get this guy back. Why not try to bring it a little bit out there, huh? I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> now, I do got a weedless set up on this, too. Yeah, drop a comment in the box. Let me know what's your experience with the net rig. There you are. I'm trying to get bit. Yeah, that's a trip, man. I got nothing on this one, too. Yeah, good thing I reeled it in. I felt that. Damn grass. Two thirty-five. Oh, I think I felt a thump. Ah, damn. It might be grass, but I felt some action. Let's see what's going on over here. Yep. This is one of the reasons I like coming out here. Beautiful serenity. Here's the spot I was talking about earlier. Don't fish here, guys, unless you want to lose a lot of lures. So, give you a little recap on my day. It's been almost about, yeah, hour and a half. Been out here, I grind on that spot, grind down here, both points. That clearly has nothing. And over here, well, Neither. So decided to take a break. Oh yeah, need some water, vitamins, and a cliff bar. So 
So I guess I can probably share with you guys what I've been using. So let's take a look at the stuff. Yes, Quadro DCs. I love them. They're fun. Got a jig, KVD square bill. And then I also got my nid rig. <clears throat> and here's the drop shot, the one that snapped. I'm gonna have to replace the line, put a different worm on there. Think about doing shaky head. That got me the big one last time. And I got one more spot I wanna try before I go. So, wish me luck folks, and enjoy the view. See you in a few. Shaky head got me my PB last time. Let's see over here what's in the bushes. Ah, yes, good old grass. Hey, at least you get to see it in action, huh? more grass or at least I got out there now the fun part bring it back just doing a slow crawl with the jig and I'm surprised nothing has hit it yet I'm really curious to see if there's anything there though on that point come on I got blue and purple And I think that answered my question, what's under there? Weeds. Don't tell me another round of grass and weeds. Yeah, it's just, all right. Holy crap. I would have went into the freaking tree if I didn't stop it. Oh no. Oh darn. <sighs> well, that's it for today. <sighs> Got my butt kicked. This lake is not nice to me. Threw everything I had at it. Well, almost everything. But yeah, so see what happens next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Pardon me.